I have a lot of regrets um, about my reaction to everything that happened. Uh, eventually, I started watching this one YouTube channel called The Right Opinion, and what it essentially taught me was that sometimes it's not about the accusations, it's about how you respond, because that's what builds up in people's minds as who you are. And my response a lot of the times was, was flawed. It was very flawed, and I understand that. Now, in the beginning, I can explain exactly what happened um, in, my, in my response, because I have high neuroticism, very high neuroticism. I took a big personality, five, or big five personality test. I, I probably scored like 97% neurotic. So that makes it so when I have a problem that's unsolved, I start to obsess about it. I don't sleep. I just think and think and think about it. And that's what the restraining order was. That's what the argument, what happened after the argument was. It, I wasn't getting, I couldn't solve the problem. So my brain freaked out. You know, along with the fact that I, and I truly believe this, I only read it once somewhere, that a mother is born, when, or when a baby is born, the mother is automatically addicted, but the father through right steps can become addicted to the baby. And I'm almost positive I'm addicted to Violet. There's, there's absolutely no doubt in my head that I am, to be honest. And um, so I was also going through those withdrawals on top of the neuroticism. Now, the biggest moment I regret from that is when I, um, I I hadn't told anybody my side of the story, really. Like, I told my mom, but, you know, that's not, like, objective. That's not, that's not somebody, really, you know. So, I, I on my DeviantArt, one day, I just wrote it all down. I just wrote it all down. My side of the story. Everything. every Everything that had happened, from my perspective thoughts that have been driving me crazy and um i posted it on facebook so i didn't see that big of a problem with it i don't know why i should have maybe it's the neuroticism and lack of sleep probably <clears throat> I, I instantly realized that was a bad idea and took it down however in that time i had also messaged it to some people that you know hadn't heard my side of the story i mean that was probably a really bad idea by then I was so worked up though I, I wasn't really thinking I was so neurotic and I just I hadn't been sleeping like I said you know it sounds like I was doing drugs but I, I wasn't I, I couldn't you know not, not no. so <clears throat> and then after that you know some things really got bad um, at least in my eyes it's when I did all the things that I truly regret, you know. Because at the time, I thought that I couldn't show the mother of my child the um, how much I missed her and how much I loved her. I thought that it was best if we just both move on. I thought it was best if we were apart, but so I didn't show her, show her that, you know. I'm, and that might have been for the best, you know. I think it was also because I was scared, you know, I was scared that I would say I love you and she was just already completely moved on, which would have destroyed me that, you know, that soon after the breakup. So I kept it all in. Actually, I posted the exact opposite all over social media, you know, that I had moved on already myself. All my poems, though, were about how I hadn't, still haven't. She was, she was the best friend I ever had. And regardless of whether or not she wants to be with me, I, I, I hate not having her to talk to. I hate not having her to just be around, you know? We shared our world so closely, you know? It's the only things I want to tell her about. Like, in the second stream, maybe you should watch this, I'll just get it out. I think it's the second stream of Skyward Sword, at about, of the, on the Game Grumps channel, at about 45 minutes. Uh, Vernon talks about this punk band, I don't remember its name now. <clears throat> However, it's like punk music about being anxious in crowds, and I thought that you would just 
like she would just love that and you know i don't i don't get to tell her that you know and i want to you know and i want to add value to her life not suck it all away another regret i have is that i wasn't out protecting my image more my reputation I forgot how important that is especially in this small town you know, I, I've heard through the grapevine that some people think I'm doing drugs, which is just not the case. I mean, I guess I could see how people would come to that conclusion, considering, well, especially if I'm sober, I go through periods of no sleep, you know, and I get really antsy and I get a lot done. Um, I mean, I, you know, so it might seem like I am doing drugs. And then with my neuroticism, which, uh, you know, yeah, it might seem, might absolutely seem like I'm doing drugs. However, I haven't. You know, I've always been very careful to be able to pass a piss test during this time. Because that would just be the worst, is if I lost the right to my daughter over something as stupid as a narcotic. Like, I couldn't imagine that. You know? I mean, there there is this stuff that it's legal in California. And I'm, I'm, I might have to go get my medical card. But it's, it's, I can't afford doctors to give me treatment I need for my migraines, which is, it's, you know, my life, which is fine. I made it this far, so. Yeah, and if I have to quit, I have to quit, and I will. You know, I just need, need somebody to tell me I need to. I will, too, before a court. I, I've done it, I did it before in November, and I will again. Um... And if, you know, I'll bring it up, you know, um, and ask somebody of power. I'm probably getting shot right at my nose, huh? That, that'll be my plan. But yeah, so that just, it just, that just sucks, you know? I don't regret the time I spent learning. You can probably hear that dog in the background, huh? Thinking about it, I will just get my medical card you know, before a court, and then I'll bring it up like that, um, while being clean, um, that I have it, and if I can use it or not, um, that sounds like the best way to bring it up in a court, might just be a waste of $40, but I think that it's, I think it's the best way to do it, especially if someone lingers about it, you know, which which you could. You know, I don't have much fat on my body, so I don't think so. <clears throat> but yeah, those are my regrets over this time. Um I had to tell somebody them. It's kinda of losing my mind keeping all this stuff in. You know? So I don't I don't talk to many people. I haven't felt the need to. Been very insular with this, you know, I talked to my mom, but, um, which is always good feedback. But it's not quite the same, so. Decided to throw this video together. Anyways, so I will come back, and next time I will be working on some emotion stuff. I have a list of, um, I actually have, like, a little thing I made with, with a bunch of different emotions, and I will try to cover... Like, I don't know, one a week, because I have 167 of them. Some of them might take longer than a week, and I'm going to go and do what I'm going to do with my mailing list. Well, not exactly what I'm going to do with my mailing list, but video forms of, of other topics, you know, and it'll all come together in, like, an education on emotions, because that's what got me through. That's what ultimately led to me bettering myself, was to learn what they meant. <laughs> So, get ready for that, and if you do stumble across this video and you've stayed this far, if you like me as a person, please, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, because I could really use the, um, the boost in, uh, you know, ratings and stuff to get, to get the, uh, classes off the ground. So I will catch you all hopefully soon, and, um, I might actually just start with Ambition, because that was my next one, and I already had a lot of thoughts about it. So, See you guys probably tomorrow, hopefully.